welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be making and cooking pizza dough made with beer. I've removed all of the water from the dough recipe and replaced it with Pills German beer. I can't wait to see how this comes out. Let's go make it. ready. Got my peel. Let's get this in. Oh, we did have a bit of too much semolina on there actually because it was a bit sticky. You can see it flaming a bit there but it's okay. When I made this dough, oh, oh gosh, it's happened. <laughs> when I made this dough, um, it, you know, the smell of beer was really strong, obviously, because I poured in loads of beer instead of water. In fact, this recipe is I used beer instead of water completely, and then I reduced the um, amount of yeast I was using. This is um, a suggestion from a viewer. Just want to turn it up because the crust isn't cutting. Um, the crust isn't cooking. So let's see how it goes. So yeah, what I was saying was um, I could really smell the, the beer and it stunk when I was putting it, putting it to proof. But then, um, after the proof, I couldn't smell the beer at all. It sort of had disappeared. It just smelled like a normal dough with a bit of like a sour smell to it. So I was quite, uh, can't wait to try this out. I want to know if I could taste any beer in this dough. Of course, I gotta have beer with it. You know. Can I smell it cooking now? Mm. Right, that's done. Let's go try it.
just going to be so interesting to see how this tastes. Right, got my beer. Um, cheers, everybody who likes beer. Cheers. There's sugar in beer and it hasn't ruined the dough. I can't wait to give this a try. I just want to show you the... Mmm. Mmm. Just wash it down with some beer. Mmm. -mm. It's got like a... I can't taste beer, but I can taste a... There is a taste in there. I'm going to have to have another piece because I'm trying to I'll show you. It's like a sharpness to it. Uh, but it doesn't taste of beer. I don't know. Have I cooked all the alcohol out of it? So what happened with the proof on this? Um, my normal room temperature of 23 degrees wasn't enough for it. I had to put it in a, a cupboard that was, was about 28 degrees. And only then did this start doubling in size, but it did double in size. So what I thought had happened was when I put the yeast into the, the beer to dissolve the yeast, because I wasn't using water, so I had to dissolve the yeast in the beer, I thought it fizzled and killed the yeast, because I could hear it going shh. But I didn't know whether that was um, a, a good sign or a bad sign because normally when you have that fizz sound, that's the yeast dying. But the yeast is, yeah, look, it's it's here and it's alive and it's created bubbles. And I'm very, very pleased with this. I'm just going to bite that crust. A bit like sourdough, but not sourdough. I can't describe it, but I like it. This is very nice. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.